Shush. Hello, gang. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello, gang, friends. Welcome back. OMG, cat eyes. I love them. Let's do something with them. Thanks for joining me today. Today, oh, look at these. Madame Glam have bought some new cat eye gels out. And you know, I love a cat eye. They're just amazing. So we're going to swatch these and then we're going to do something really cool with them. Um, I won't describe what they look like, you can see. So uh, during this time, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. That sounded like I had something prepared. I do not. Um, I'll ask you how you all are. Guess what I did today? Well, I am doing it right now. I've had my first alcoholic beverage of the year. The first one this year. Um, I've been feeling really anxious. Had panic attacks, anxiety and everything. Uh, but it's getting a lot better. And I, but I don't have a drink when I feel like that. But now I'm feeling a lot better. I've, I've got a dribble of Prosecco left. Um, but I've been having... Um, Aperol spritzes um, and I just forgot how much I love them they're so yummy um, as are these colors so good so the design we're going to do actually I think I'm going to show you something else before we oh fudge look at this sapphire love so good this collection you need it if you like cat eyes get these don't forget you can get a whopping 30% off um, your Madame Glam orders using the link in the description. But just a click away, use the link in the description and the, co and the code MissJo30. 30% off bananas. So I'm going to have a play around with these as I um, bring out the, the zhuzh, the magnety bits. Um, but we'll swatch those. What was I about to say? Um, yeah, had a drink. <laughs> and then, like I tend to always do when I've had a few drinks, is ask Echo to play certain songs. One of which is... Oh, look at the glow on this. <gasps> it's blinding. I love it. Um, is Bohemian Rhapsody, hands down, in my opinion, the greatest song ever written. It's just a f masterpiece isn't it so I was singing along with it a lot quite a few times and then <laughs> I wish you could all have seen but at the same time I'm I'm thank the lord you couldn't see I was the conductor but I was lying on the sofa just conducting with my arms through the whole song I had arm ache after it it's quite a good exercise just you know conducting the different instruments and waving my arms around um Hopefully the neighbours weren't looking in. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think I'd care if they were. I was having a blast. Um, and then it gets to the bit where it's like... Da -na 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 -na, and just head banging. Oh, it's just so good. Uh, how did we get here? I don't know. I apologise. Um, nails. Should we talk about nails? I'm painting nails. Oh, I do show in a second. Um, so I do the first coat and I bring out all the zhuzh. As, as much as I can, get it all up, all up and shiny. And then I'll show you in a sec the second coat, which I did exactly the same, brought out all the zhuzh. But before I did that, I tried something else and I did the second coat and took away the zhuzh, take it away, you know, where the magnet, you know, you know, you were there, you know. Um, so I did that and took away the zhuzh. So you had the, the depth of the colour, like here you see the dark blue, but then you also had the zhuzh underneath that. So I'll show you, I don't know if I show you one or two, um, but I will show you that very soon, probably. Get it in the fucking lamp, woman. Yes. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, though, let's be honest. Um, this. So I took away the zhuzh. So you've got zhuzh, but like deep in, you know, it's like it's got depth to it. So you see that I'm taking away the zhuzh 
but you've got the zhuzh from the first layer. That looks really cool, but I brought out the zhuzh on both layers. And this is them. This collection is so good. It's so good. And we're going to use it in today's video. The only one we don't use is Emerald Gaze um, with a Z. It's not a colour that depicts all homosexuals in Ireland. <laughs> Um, that's the only one we don't use in this video. But before we start, I'm just going to show you these Born Pretty jelly polishes. Jelly poli I love jelly polish. That You can use them for so many things, for shading, if you're doing characters or well, if you're doing anything. If you're drawing a heart and you want to do some shading, you can use a red jelly in that area to, to shade it. Um, excuse the lighting. For this section, I wasn't at my normal desk. Um, the bottles, I've not seen these bottles from Born Pretty either. They're really nice. So we have uh, polish. <laughs> They're called semi jellies. Oh, look at them. Really like those. Jellies, once you, when you have jellies, you suddenly realise how much you can use them. Never used to have any jellies. Now I've got f***ing loads. Um... But you sort of, yeah, you start, you use them when you've got them and you think, how did I not own any of these before? How did I get out of bed in the morning not owning jelly polish? One of those things. Okay. Oh, take a deep breath. I'm going to pause and have a sip. Sip has been administered. I'm taking Oh What Fun from Madame Clam. The rest of them I do just a black base to start with. So I would recommend ignoring that and doing just plain black. Um... Because we do add that, but after. But I would say start with plain black. And then we're taking the blue. And we're going to go all over it. Just a thin coat. You see how I was almost dry brushing at the end there? Like, not a lot of product. And we're going to magneticize. Yes, it is the word. Um, and we're going to push it down to the bottom. And then bring it out. So we have this curve. You okay, my sweet angel pie? Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, boy. Yes, it's you. Um, yes, so we did that and then we cured it. So now we're taking the green and we're going to do a smile line. Um, but we're sort of working backwards. And then we're just going to fade that out a bit. I think I do switch to using um, an ombre brush. Ombre brush to fade it out. So we've done that in the curve. And then we're going to bring out the zhuzh on that. And then from the top, we push it down here. And then bring it out a bit. It's, it's weird because the way, the angle I'm sat and I'm looking at it, I see it differently. I'm seeing it from a different angle to the camera. So sometimes it doesn't show very well, but it does to me. I need you to come sit on my lap to understand what I'm, <laughs> on what I'm saying. But please don't um, come and sit on my lap. <laughs> And now we're going to do the rest of the colours in the same fashion, just creating a smile line, um, but using the brush for it. See how I put the brush where I want the middle, the centre of the smile line, and just pushing down a bit. When I say down, I mean towards the tip to get that curve and then just going up the sides um, and then zhuzh that and then cure it. So I'm... I think I full cured, but you could probably get away with a half cure between each of these um, layers. But where we sort of fade it out, it didn't get, it didn't seem to get thick. I was quite worried that it would be really thick, but it wasn't. So we'll do the same with the orange. And then I think, I think I faff about with this, this one for a bit, trying to get my smile line shape how I want it. So we'll do this, we'll bring out the zhuzh, and then we'll do the red the same, and then we'll do something different. And we'll just talk about that when we get there, because um, I need to see what's going on. To be Sorry, I'm making, making a right noise, just putting my glasses down. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens in a min, in a min. Bringing out the zhuzh, pushing it down. You see how it takes away the zhuzh as I push it down. And then I go from the other side and it brings it all out in this glow. When you get to the point where, like that, ooh, where you look at it and you go, oh, look at that glow. 
stop just stop what you're doing put the magnet down and get that shit in the lamp i i could have stopped ages ago but clearly <laughs> i was not okay come on that's ridiculous in the lamp and now with the red we'll do the same but we're going to use an ombre brush just to fade it into the black let's pretend stop fucking talking woman let's pretend that the background is plain black not sparkly black sparkly not sparkly black um, do you know what's a really good thing to do if you want to get a bit of a buzz? Don't drink for a few months and then have several drinks in one in one sitting. It really does the job. Hang on. Got to have a straw with an Aperol spritz. Okay. So, what the fuck am I doing now? I stood on the red. I looked away from the screen when I came back. I thought it'd be the end of the video. No, we're still doing the red. Um, <laughs> oh, you see that mark on my, th that sort of red dot on my thumb? There's not a sniper in the distance trying to shoot my thumb off. It's a blister from the hoover. Yeah, I know. Hoovering. It's just not worth it, is it? <laughs> right, we're bringing out the zhuzh on the red, and then we're going to full cure. These, I noticed, are a one-minute cure. Most of their polishes are, a one, are 30 seconds, but that was one minute. It says on the back, so always check the bottle. And now we're taking Oh What Fun again, but for the but, but I would say do just black first. So now we're taking Oh What Fun for the first time. We're putting a bit at the top, and we're just going to fade it down over the red, but not covering the red, but just sort of blend it into it. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. Oh my God. I love it so much. Cat eyes and rainbow and black and sparkly. And it's going to get cosmic. We can get some cosmic shit going down. Oh, it's just the best. I just want to jump in here and talk about today's video sponsor, which is Julia Premium Artisan Jewelers. They have sponsored a few videos. I love their stuff. There's a new brochure that's been updated. So I'll have a look through that later. Um, some amazing pieces. Oh, look at that one. So gorgeous. They have partnered with National Breast Cancer Foundation to spread the awareness, provide support for women in need and save lives through early detection. So they've let me pick two pieces from this collection. This is the first one. <gasps> this one is doesn't fit me because I've ordered it for my mummy who has bony fingers, um, not like my sausage fingers. I'll, I'll put the details of this ring and the other one I'm going to show you in the description. All the details will be in the description of how to get there, all the pieces I have and how to get to this collection as well. So $2 per unit sale of each product in the collection will be donated to the, oh, look at this. <gasps> it's like princess, isn't it? It's amazing. Um, where was I? $2 uh, per unit sale of each product in the collection will be donated to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, and their, fact, their donation plays a vital role in helping the foundation provide mammograms and breast health services to women in need, helping to make a difference for those facing breast cancer. So it's a really good cause. Um, the pieces in there, there's a lot of rose gold, a lot of pink and peachy sort of colored um, crystals all along the sort of pink theme. Um, they're absolutely stunning. Um, I am a princess with this on and I will hear no differently. You cannot make me believe otherwise. It's so gorgeous. And you can get 15% off your orders using the link in the description and the code MissJoe15. I love that they partner with different foundations and charities. They also do a lot for, you know, ocean preservation um, foundations as well. I don't, that's probably not the name of it, but a lot of their stuff is sort of ocean themed and money goes towards helping that. They all, they, they really do help a lot of good causes. So go and have a look. I do pick some more of the tamer pieces. They have some really crazy, funky designs that you won't see anywhere else. So it's definitely worth going and having a look, um, just at all the cool things they do. Oh, I like seeing the underside of the crystal the little pointy bit i just love it so much it's just so shiny and sparkly 
Um, so if you want to help support this cause, go and have a look at their pieces. Um, it's really wonderful what they do. And again, all the details will be in the description. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love them. Let's do some more nail stuff, stuff with nails, yeah. So we're going to add some dots and a couple of them will turn into stars. So the ones you're turning into stars, make sure that when we do this bit here, before you do that, sort of wipe your brush on a palette just to get as much product off it as possible. And then you want to use the product from the dot to create those arms so they're nice and thin. And then add some other dots in places. I think I, I left that bit plain, the rainbow bit, in the lamp. And now we're taking the, I've got to take a break. I'm sorry, the sound of my voice is driving me insane. All right, I'm back, I'm back. So we're taking this clear, no, this jelly, semi-jelly white, and we're going over the center of our stars and we're going around the dots because why the f not? And then they have that glowy look. <gasps> look! Look at... Oh. I think that's got to be one of my most favourite things ever. I didn't blend the black down very well, but let's just... Shh, don't tell anyone. But I love that. It's amazing. The Oh What Fun, the black glittery one in the background, just looks like billions of stars, or, you know, billions of light years away in the galaxy. Love it. Just... Wash, just... Shh, shh just watched that Adam Sandler Spaceman film. I was a bit emotional and I don't really know why, but it got it kind of got me in the feels, you know? So I cried at one point. <laughs> um, I love him, he's amazing. Right, this nail, we're going to do some curves, some swirls. Are they swirls? What do you call a line that kind of, like an S-shaped line? That's what we're doing. A swirl, a curve. And then with this, so we zhuzhed the blue, cured it. Now we're doing the green. We're ombreing up to fade it out so it's a bit thinner. And we'll bring out the zhuzh of that. And then we'll follow the pattern here with the yellow. So we're going to follow that curve. And I did cure the green. So I'm curing each one as I go, but I've just cut that out because, you know, I have. Um, so each time we'll bring out the zhuzh. And the reason you cure um, between each colour is because if you put them all on, um, well, they kind of, they might kind of bleed into each other, but even if that wasn't an issue, when you magneticize one bit, it will, it will affect everything magnetic near it. So we do each one and then cure it, and then it stays in place. And then when we use the magnet on the next one, it won't affect it. See, if I hadn't cured the others, that magnet would be affecting all of the zhuzhiness. How do you spell zhuzh? What, do, what letters does it start with? Let me know in the comments. I feel like it begins with a J. Um, I don't know why. I think I forgot to record the red, or I just wasn't paying attention to what's going on right now. So I'm putting some black at the top, and then I thought I'd put some at the bottom, because the blue bit was a lot bigger than the rest. So we'll kind of make it not as big and then we're going to just feather these down with the Mellow Glam Ombre brush I'm kind of out of shot but in shot for some of this there's a lot of it that is in shot and that's enough to be that's enough to be proud of but lots of it is kind of close right at the bottom or right at the top or left or right um so we're out of shot but in shot at the same time and now we're going to do a crescent moon, which is just a, a C, but but not a full C. Kind of, it's cut short at the top and bottom, at each end. Um, and we'll do a moon. We've put a star on there already. I'm using the Madame Glam white gel paint for this. And then we're going over the moon. So we've gone over the stars and dots with the Born Pretty Semi Jelly white. And we're also going over the moon because I just, you know, the moon the moon glows. Let's give it a bit of glow. Oh, we're not looking at that one. That's done. You'll have to wait till the end to see what happens with it. And now we are doing a big planet. I've mapped it out with this red very faintly. 
and then we're going to do sections of each color but the bottom of the section I'm going to make a little wiggle but we're going to do the same process so we'll do the red we'll bring out the zhuzh with the magnet so it's glowing as much as possible then we'll cure it or half cure it and then we'll carry on with the rest of the colors doing the same but making them a bit wiggly I was thinking Jupiter and I was just going to do red with maybe some yellowy bits through it but I thought let's just do the wall fucking rainbow you know why not so that's what we're doing here but I am curing in between each one but I've just cut those bits um because I don't want to bore the shit out of you you know you're my friends so I don't want to bore you so we'll just um show you the bits that matter and now take a deep breath everybody with me we did this in the last video I think let's take a deep breath we're gonna go in through the nose three two one hold it and slowly exhale through the mouth nice calm breaths if you're feeling anxious you breathe slowly it tricks the anxious part of your brain in it just tricks it because the anxious part of your brain is like make the heart pump faster do this go crazy you escape the tiger there's no fucking tiger it's not here it doesn't exist breathe slowly and your brain will be like oh okay we don't need to be freaking out um let's not go down that path of conversation i could talk about it for hours much experience um, so we've done two circles one in the yellow and one in the red we've zhuzhed them and now we're taking white gel paint, we're going to do a little C on the side of our planet. And we're going to bring one side of that C all the way through the planet, but at a curve. You don't want a dead straight line, you want a curve. And then we're doing a thinner line, and I think that's all the lines we're going to do for that planet. And then we're adding, oh what fun, in all the black areas. Definitely prefer doing it this way, because it has got a lot of glitter in it, the reflective glitter in it this oh what fun um it's not bumpy to the point where if you just top coat it normally it's you've got a wiggly light line it's not that at all but it is great you know it is a bit gritty so it was a better idea to do everything on black and then just fill in the gaps with that and now we've added our milky our white jelly to the star and just to the part of the rings that are on the black I didn't go over the the satiny type rings on the cat eyes, just the bits that's in the black. And look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, so cool. Fuck, I forgot to say that the first design we did was a, it was a design I saw on Pinterest. And I know there's probably like millions of people who have, you know replicated that design but I'm not one of the millions and I wanted to be so we did that and then the rest of them are just I just making it up as we went as we went along really um to sort of you know it's nice to recreate a design I will find out I'll try and find out um who it's by and I, if it is then I'll put it on screen uh, if I do find it um but I feel like there wasn't a name on the picture anyway um but yeah, so the first one we did like the French French tip sort of thing with a rainbow. That was a recreation of something I saw online. And the rest I'm just making up as it's a recreation of whatever went on in my head. Okay, now we're miles behind. So we used the milky white to create um, a moon, like a circle, but that's coming off the page a bit. And then while it's wet, we're taking this white polish, which is called Blessings or Blessing from Madame Glam. Look! It's sparkly. How amazing. So the I, I used the loop brush from Crystal Nails and just patted on some of that white um, Madame Glam polish onto the jelly white while the jelly white was wet. <gasps> while the jelly white was wet. So I did that as it was wet. You could pat on the white after, after curing the jelly white, which was which is what I wanted to do. But I thought, what if I don't like the patchiness? What if it doesn't look good? I'll do it on the wet, see if it looks good. If it does, I'll wipe it, cure it, blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, but I didn't. So I just did it on the wet. And it was just patty, pat, pat. No big deal. Don't 
overthink it. Just pat with a, a sort of, with the similar brush to the loop brush from Crystal Nails. Um, just sort of a wider, flatter brush than a skinny brush like this. Um, and uh, patted that on the wet. And then I used the clear jelly again to re-outline the moon just to make it a bit more crisp. And then I used an ombre brush <laughs> to feather in that milky white outline of the moon, just so it wasn't a dead straight line on the inside. It kind of faded into the rest of the moon. But that's such a simple thing, that moon, just patty pat, that's it. Um, and you've got yourself a moon that looks really cool. We are so behind. Uh, I blame you, really. It's all your fault. Nothing to do with me. Uh, but we have added some more of the rainbow cat eyes to the side. And sort of in a big swoop around it. Okay, now I'm going over this again. Only because it didn't show very well on camera. So what you see here, of the second that's the second coat, did it exactly the same as the first coat. But after the first coat, it looked like this to me. But on camera, it didn't show very well. That's the only reason I did a second coat. Um, I wouldn't have done it if I was doing this on someone. It wouldn't have needed a second coat, but it just didn't show very well on camera. And then we're adding our uh, stars, which I don't think I've milky jellied on top. I forgot that on that one. Idiot. And this is it. I did two, the same as the first one, um, just to border a bit at the end. That's the design I saw online that we've recreated. And the middle three, I've just kind of gone with the flow, you know, go with the flow, see what comes out, pen to paper, shit happens. So that is our rainbow cat eye cosmic galaxy nails. Because what else is the beginning of March? We'll do St. Patrick's Day next. Um, don't forget the Rafa Alcaraz match on Sunday night. <laughs> Can't wait. Buzzing. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>